I have to fix the pipe corner. Whoa! Okay, that was very, very not good. Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Wicked from Honey Bunny Games and I did finish the lift off camera. Everything is a bit messed up now, so let me just push the reset button. Did I push it? Yep, everything is fine. So let me show you this thing. So I'm gonna enable the the conveyor belt. Come on, place the place the crate. I oh my god, I want to place the crate. There we go. Place the crate. It goes in. Then this gate closes for the safety, lift goes up and pushes him outside and even rotates him, rotates him the right side most of the time. So it can happen from time to time, it doesn't get rotated, but uh, yeah, I was also messing around with, you know, safety not to let the crates in and all that, but I was like testing it out already in here and I don't think I actually need that. So yeah, this is the lift and... I have to say, it, it's... I'm starting to get good at this. So, let me go behind the logic... Uh, let me go through the logic behind this guy, and then I'm gonna move on to the big machine. Oh, there we go. I didn't think it flipped him this time. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, close him off. Okay, so, the sensor here is set to believe 2. Yep. So, once the crate is reaching this guy, the sensor will activate. The rear of the crate is still kind of... Uh, you know, uh, in the range of this guy, so that's why we have a timer here, which will then wait half a second, yeah, I almost said half a minute, uh, push this thing out, close it up, at the same time, uh, it will start moving up, is it at the same time? Uh, yeah, it's at the same time, it's gonna start moving up, and it's gonna activate the second timer, and by the time the lift is up, maybe there's a little bit of waiting time before the second piston, well, third piston actually, the second piston is the actual lift, the third piston will activate, which is, uh, yeah, I cannot get up, I have to kind of cheat a bit, um, so I'm gonna place these guys here so I can stand, uh, activate this guy, which kind of has a hook in here, like you can see two pipes uh, sticking out, so uh, I'm gonna place a crate here, mark it black, well, gray, so this thing will push this side of the crate first, so if there is a um, I mean, it happened in a few cases, it's very rare, but it can happen that it's not fitting uh, through these three blocks, so this is gonna like rotate him first, and then those two guys will push him out. So what I'm gonna do now is delete this... Oh! No, no, not gonna do it like that. Uh, oh yeah, I have to turn on... Can I? Yes, I can reach it. I'm gonna show you what exactly I mean with this hook thing. I'm, I'm not sure that's a hook, I'm just gonna call it a hook. There we go, it activates and yeah, you can see. Uh, combined with the combined with the slopes that I'm standing on, kinda, um, this thing is gonna, in combination with the slopes, rotate the crate and then the other guys are gonna push him out. It's a very simple solution, I was uh, actually I lost quite a lot of time on this thing, I was kinda going with double pistons first, to, uh, you know, uh, rotate the crate, then pull him back, then the second piston actually put him out, but I had some issues with it, uh, some logical issues, so I was like, dude, you know, screw it, I'm just gonna go, uh, like that, so, yeah, I think this is a very good solution, yeah, I just kinda love it how it works, okay, something happened here, okay, whoa, that, that's bad, especially on camera, what exactly happened? Well, the thing is, I'm not gonna be spawning crates so close, so this thing will probably not happen, usually. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, look at this, it's it's, it's freaking amazing. Uh, okay, come on, come on, uh, let's, let's just take do it one more time, and then I'm gonna weld him to the location. Holy smokes. That, that's freaking awesome, that's freaking awesome, let's turn him off. And uh, let's uh, let's get rid of this guy. Did they change anything? Oh, I can't remember. I hope I did not. So let's weld this guy. Uh, okay, on the slope. On the slope. That's close here. Is, is it this slope? Yes, it is. There we go. Gonna reset it just in case. Uh, gonna connect it. So there's the 
there we go connected we can go behind you know to keep our maintenance thing is like resets there we go we can reset both things we also have like uh, oil for the hydraulic no is it hydro yeah hydro uh yeah pneumatic a pneumatic uh pneumatic i'm not sure how you pronounce it right is the air one hydraulic is the liquid one so we have oil for the pistons going in the bottom piston going into the, like this distribution system where also we have a gate piston and up here to the last piston and also the coolant for all the pistons yeah i kind of know they don't need the coolant but i freaking love pipes so yeah that's that's why i have them and i have to say this is starting to look like a real factory oh god yeah and once i place a big machine i mean big machine it's gonna be on the level about of this guy so that's gonna be a bit hard to kind of do because this is i believe this is wait did i never mind um i'm gonna mark it because i did count it so uh this is 16 that's uh yeah i'm gonna no 16 by okay i'm not just gonna say by uh by 20 i believe so yeah by 20 uh just gonna like that ah yeah i'll understand uh or maybe i'll not uh just gonna place it in a second yeah you know what i i'm i'm over complicating uh i'm gonna know what what this is so 16 by 20 and yeah I'm gonna type it like this uh, okay now i definitely don't know what what this means by 20 there we go 16 by 20 is this area and it's high what's the level for the conveyor belt it's uh that's that's uh, eight. Uh, that's actually twelve. Okay, and so that's by twelve. So whoa. Uh, let's do this thing again. There we go. Sixteen twenty twelve. So I can know how to make this machine. Also, I will probably make it right now. But I want to kind of whoa. See, now do that. I want to take my lift. Then I'm gonna take my crates. Come on, crate. And let's uh, start this thing up. I'm actually gonna spawn in a few more crates. Uh, I kind of feel like the game is lagging while this is moving. Uh, maybe that's due to the sound. Let me try taking my headphones off. Maybe it's gonna feel better because I hear... Yeah, it's actually a little better without the sound. So basically the, the sound is kind of making me feel... I'm not gonna say dizzy, but awkward. Uh... Okay, I think it's already reaching the first machine, so let me get this crate a bit out. Uh, okay, where's the where's the crate? Oh, it's in the first machine. There we go. Holy smokes! Okay, first machine is done. Then it's gonna go into the second machine, into the lift. That's not a machine. That's a lift. Oh, look at this thing. This corner. I have to place uh, soaps here. I have to fix the pipe corner. Whoa! Okay, that was very, very not good. Uh, I think I know what the problem is. I think I have an easy fix for it. Because uh, because of this turn, the crates are not going in perfectly, you know, aligned. And that's kind of messing up my whole thing. Okay, now it turned out to be fine. Okay, the distance is fine. I basically don't think the gate... No, 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 okay. I basically don't think the gate, but still, uh, it it's not going to hurt if I have it. Okay, so I saw that my mistakes and let's go and fix them. Oh, I didn't place like the things on the bottom. You know what? It's fine. Okay, first of all, um, uh, this thing here needs slopes. This thing here needs slopes. Uh, also gonna paint them red and this thing here needs a pipe. So, uh, okay, gonna paint these guys. There you go. And then we need a pipe in here the pipe corner uh huh there we go uh paint it you know oily there we go and as far as this thing goes uh let me see up on top yeah i'm i'm totally safe to do that so what i'm gonna do is place like a thing here that should prevent the piston the crate 
rotating like to the side uh there we go uh let me try it a few more times and i'm gonna place the crates a bit closer now uh okay maybe i am lagging especially when walking i think it's gonna help when i like uh that's the thing i was talking with twisted in our colonization world if i separate the machine from the rest of the factory but yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that later on. Now I have other things to attend to, like, you know, the big machine. Okay, so it goes in, and that's kind of working quite okay. Three sensors activate, there we go, stamped. Let's keep moving. Uh, let's check it out now. Yeah, now it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Hmm, I think it's fine now. Maybe I could give it like a slightly more delay uh, while going up. Uh, so let me try placing more crates now. Uh, okay, one here and then I can also place one here. Well, okay, don't, 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 don't break down game, don't break down. Uh, okay, this is, this is looking quite okay now. It's going in. It's going in. It's going in perfectly. I think extra this was the the main reason this this messed up. Uh, but you know, this thing is not gonna hurt anyone, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, I think this is actually working quite okay. I'm gonna turn everything off. I'm gonna turn everything off. And work on my big machine. Uh, actually, I could have probably gotten the lags because of the crates lying around. Let me test it one more time without the cl crates, crates, yeah, uh, crates lying around. Um, so I'm gonna place like one here, and one here, and one here. Uh, okay, uh, so the distance between them is random. I like that. Yeah, I think the main reason here are the dynamic objects, the crates that are kind of, you know, causing the lag. But I think it's fine. I think that that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's kind of struggling on the corners, but that's that's good, delicious. It goes in. It's blocked. Oh, that was kind of very close. Maybe this guy will actually get blocked. No, no, <laughs> not even close. Uh, we still have one, right? Wait, what? Am I stuck? No, I think my key my keyboard is messing up from time to time. Like it, it loses contact or something. I, I double checked everything. I tried changing the USB ports. It's not helping. Uh, but yeah, this thing is working as intended. Yeah, I'm just gonna shut it off because I really don't want to listen to that uh, very noise. And now I will move on to the. To the big machine, and the big machine is, well, a bit complicated. First of all, I wanted to kind of have the control room. Uh, this is... Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. Uh, my general idea when starting the, the project was to kind of, you know, have the... Uh, have the... Have take... Uh, have them take it. Uh, oh my god! Seriously, brain! Why the hell you don't want to work? So you take crate of default color and you get a crate uh, and you get a colored crate back. Uh, and to do that, I kind of wanted to, you know, focus on this main machine where the default crate would kind of get inside the machine and you would place painted crates inside that would actually then pop out and move along the line. But guess what? It turns out that's gonna be quite painful to make, at least in this small... Um, in this small area, maybe I'm gonna even skip these guys or something and then, uh, you know, make it like that. Uh, but, hmm, yeah, I really don't. I kind of want to have like big, uh, the top corner going down and on the bottom one. So that's the thing I want to make. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to this guy. So the painting idea is very, very on edge right now uh, because if I'm gonna have like few crates coming in, I'm not sure where I'm gonna store all the painted crates. Uh, the pistons I know could kind of make it work, but still, 
it's uh, it's difficult. It's kind of very very difficult. I wish there was like a, a block or or maybe an object that can spawn other objects or something like that and delete them or that would be freaking awesome. That th then this machine would be so freaking good. It's unbelievable. But uh, since we don't have it, uh, since we don't have it, yeah, I cannot make that. So I've been thinking like, you know, just having a few buttons in here uh, and as this thing is going down the conveyor line, I can like push one button to kind of stamp it on the sides, push another button to rotate it uh, or, you know, have a thruster to burn it or something like that. Oh, I could actually have that. A thruster burn the crate or that. Yeah, that, that, that would be freaking cool. Like laser inspection or something like that. Yeah, how does how does the laser exactly look like? Uh, not the laser, <laughs> the trusted. I'm already saying what I want to see. Uh, so yeah, uh, no, not the not the logic gate. Uh, yeah, can I? Re I mean, I can reduce the, the this thing only, not the actual. Mm, yeah, this is kind of too big. And yeah, the old particle system for the uh, truster would be perfect, but not this one. Okay, so this machine, um, it kind of went from, you know, a lot of mix-ups in my head, and I still quite don't know what I'm gonna make. So, hmm. I mean, the changing of crates does seem awesome. I could kinda easily make that, have the conveyor belt stop at one point, click the button to push the piston inside the machine, uh, then click something else, you can hear the whirring or something, or truster, I don't care, and uh, like a few blocks along the line, another crate pops out that's colored. That sounds quite simple. Is it simple? Mm -hmm. Probably it is, and not sure how, and I really don't know if I want to make it like that, that that's, I mean, maybe I should go for simple, uh, but yeah, I don't know, the other idea was to have it just go along the line, have it rotate, you know, uh, you push the, mm, the pistons down to kind of rotate the crate, similar mechanism like this one, uh, but yeah, also, also not sure about that one, also not sure about that one, so yeah, I, I'm really, really confused right now, and I don't know what I'm gonna make, what am I gonna make, well, for starters, I'm gonna make an L-shaped uh, piston, L-shaped uh, um, conveyor belt, not a piston, and I forgot to check uh, check something in. So the distance between this corner and the piston is one, two, three. Actually, I can count it like this. That's three. That's four. That's seven. That's eight. Okay, nine block is the piston. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm gonna get lost in the numbers. Uh. Ninth block, I said. Uh, okay, ninth block is the block from this corner. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start building this in here. What the hell not? A bit further away. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, so first of all, I will need... I will need, like, the legs. I will need the legs because I want to be able to remove this machine very, very easily when I have to. So this is... Okay, I'm gonna do the calculating later. I need to get access to... Okay, you know what? Oh my dear lord. Um, okay. There we go. That's easy. Uh, that's 16 by 16. And I need to go four more in one direction. I'm gonna go in this one. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, I missed it. And yeah, that's the base. That is the base. So I'm just gonna, you know, lift it up. Actually, what's the name of the other things I have? Uh, factory... Uh, factory Machine 01. So I'm gonna call this Factory Machine 02. Factory Machine uh, 02. There we go. Simple as that. Okay, now the legs. And the legs are set. There we go. The legs are set. Everything is looking nice and beautiful. Yeah, I kind of wasted a lot of time on this lift, actually. I just checked the time recording and I was blabbing too much. Okay, so let's speed this up. Um, 
nine blocks from this area that's a that's uh, that's here so let me mark it i'm gonna mark it like this so that's the conveyor line conveyor line is here that's that's very 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 strange i mean that's because the it's not a long way the wall but still that's something uh, you know what i think i'm gonna rework this a bit i think i'm gonna ignore this area because honestly i don't know what i wanted to do here um you know, like random stuff, but I don't know what the random stuff will be. So maybe this machine will take a lot more space. Okay. Uh, yeah, this machine will take a lot more space because the conveyor belt. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like this, but I might extend it a few blocks in this direction. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna extend it a few blocks. How's that gonna look like? Ah, I think that's gonna look quite okay. Uh, okay, it's like this, uh, yeah, it's like that, so let's just, you know, make the frame, actually make the frame only, I don't want to fill the floor in with, uh, unnecessary stuff. Okay, the height, the height is 12, uh, the height from the floor is 12, so that's 2, I need 10 more to get up, uh, that's 2, two, two. there we go, this here is my conveyor level this is where the conveyor will continue so i'm gonna mark it and place a conveyor belt obviously well it's a pipe but yeah in this uh terminology it's gonna be a conveyor belt uh let's extend the line let's extend the line um yeah i'm gonna you know keep it blocky as it is right now and then i'm gonna delete uh as i need more space for the machines and whatnot so there we go and this is gonna be like the control room up here uh which i will not be able to make just yet and i don't need this wall because i will need to kind of access the conveyors so there we go uh let's fill this up with the bearings and then the pipes okay that's gonna um Maybe I should turn back. Maybe I should start turning back. Or I want to go along the line. I think I want to go along the line here. And how big is this? That's like uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's about 20 blocks. That is about, uh, you know, 20 blocks. That's that's around here. Um, yeah, I could have like, a, you know, drop down going here or... Actually, no, 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 I, I said like I want to do this, like go on top of the line, then going back down the line. So I'm going to make that. I will make a turn. So last three of them are going to get boned. Actually, last four of them because I also need a wall. Okay, so this is going to be our little turn on the big, big, big machine, the main machine we have in here. In this factory, so... Okay, let's just... There we go. Uh, that's gonna be a turn. And then it's actually gonna turn outside and that's gonna happen in this area. Let me get, uh, get it up. That's a bit too long, isn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, I just got it here. Just like that. And that's the output. Yep, that is the output. Wait, one more, one more. There we go. That's the output. I also need one more here. Yeah, I'm an idiot. And there we go. That's the conveyor line for this machine. It's obviously the biggest one yet. And let me just, you know, save this thing as factory machine 02. It already exists. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now we have a lot of space to work on. Well, kind of a lot of space to work on. Uh, we have this empty area down below, which would be used for like engines and stuff and whatnot. Speaking of that, I will start placing down the engines, which are... Am I freaking blind? Where are my engines? I probably remove them. I don't need the hammer, so I'm gonna place the engine here. Uh, okay, just gonna place it like this, like this, like this. I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, okay, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Three, four, five. 
Uh, that's not gonna be enough. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did they have like on the corn on the yeah on the corners? I had all of them. Uh, oh boy, so I did mess up a bit. Uh, okay, I kind of you know OCD kicking in. Well, it's not OCD, it's just you know I'm being neat. So yeah, like this. That's three of them to make a corner. Uh, let's make a four of them and then start you know making a difference. Uh, and this one here also. Yeah, that's that's good. That should be enough now. Let's do three. Uh, okay, four, five, and then we have this guy. Everyone is at speed number four. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna have the massive logic gate for all of them, which is just end. Because he has only one input and that is a very good delicious. So let me attach all of them. And yeah, this is looking quite okay now. We have the we have the come on, come on, I want to save. Uh we have the conveyor belt kinda working. Uh, okay, now let me get up. Actually before getting up, let me do this. Actually, before getting up, let me test this, if, if everything is fine, if like the height is fine and all that. So, how am I gonna place this thing down? I'm gonna make... Yeah, I'm gonna make a foot right here. Uh, okay, and then like this. There we go. So, I'm gonna remove the lift. Oh boy. Lag city, here we come. Uh... Okay, come on, lift. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, okay, so let me grab it with my wall tool. And then place it on... Oh yeah, I can't, can't stand here. Okay, the height seems fine, the location is fine, there's only like one in between, that's, that's on purpose. Uh, so yeah, everything is fine. Let me just get rid of this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay, it's gonna get lagging here as soon as this thing drops. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm I'm down to 20 FPS now. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely have to, you know, separate the thing off camera. Oh, now I'm at 150 FPS. What if I do this? Oh, 20 FPS, maybe... Yeah, now I'm back to 100 FPS. Okay, so after I change something, it takes some time to get adjusted to it. So, get a lift. Get a lift, get a lift, get a lift. Place it on the lift. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but, yeah, this is gonna be it. We finished the lift. I place it along the line. It's kinda... I mean, it's working. It's not kinda working. It's actually working. And then I'm gonna mess around with the big machine and I probably will mess around with it a bit off camera. You know, just to get the general layout and maybe think about it, think about the ideas a bit. But right now, this is it. So, uh, I made a lift, we made a lift. The lift is working fine, everything is working fine along the line. And I'll probably have to do this like off camera, you know, separate the, everything from the main building. I do hope that's gonna help a bit and I'm also thinking maybe like separating the the big machine from these guys as well. Uh, I mean if I separate this machine and then place the big one on the factory floor that's gonna do the job. But for that I will take a lot of uh, backup work for the whole save file because I don't want any stupid mistakes. Uh, but yeah, this is it. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and see you next time.